Hey everybody, it's Mother Goose 27 and welcome back to my channel. So, this show, I watched the very first season uh, back in 2017 and I liked it, but I felt very convicted. Felt like maybe it was just a little too mature for me personally. But I've heard really, really amazing things about it. So I decided I should probably finish it and just see where the show goes. So, I finally watched Rick and Morty. So real quick, this will contain spoilers. Uh, there's gonna be time codes in the description if you guys wanna jump around the video. I'm gonna give my general thoughts about the show, then I'm gonna talk about some specific characters, and then I'm gonna talk about some specific moments throughout the show, and then I'll give my final thoughts. So let's begin. I still stand by what I said. <laughs> I definitely think Rick and Morty is a little too mature for me. I'm not gonna lie, I am a very PG person. I still really enjoyed the show, I'm not gonna lie. It was really funny, it was really interesting. I liked all of the crazy adventures that Rick and Morty got themselves into, but I did feel very convicted. There were a lot of times I was watching it with my roommate and I'd look over and I'm like, and I'd tell him, I am not old enough to watch this. Which obviously is a joke, I'm 23, I'm an adult, I'm an adult. But I was a little uncomfy. But no, I really, really enjoyed the show. I really like the direction that it's going. It's episodic, so each episode is its own unique story. Which is really nice, I've been watching a lot of very serialized series lately, so it was great to just sit and just watch an episodic series where most of the time each episode was just its own thing. Now. I just kind of want to quickly talk about the fandom. I'm sorry. I'm not saying it's everyone. I know it is a vocal minority, but I'm sorry, Rick and Morty fans. Some of you are a little eccentric. For example, the Szechuan sauce incident. I'm sorry. I like the show. I really do. But I would never <laughs> treat the McDonald's employees the way you guys did. <laughs> or I've heard a lot of people tell people that if you don't like Rick and Morty, you're just not smart enough to understand it. I don't agree with that. I really don't. I'm sorry. I don't think it takes a big IQ to understand what's going on or to understand the jokes. Humor is subjective. Just because you like the jokes doesn't mean you're smarter than someone else or vice versa. I'm sorry. Along with the whole interdimensional travel, there is a lot of stuff that is very intelligent. There's also a lot of burp and fart jokes. Let's just be honest here. Now, I still really like the show, but let's not attack people who don't like it. Now I want to talk about some specific characters. Obviously, let's start with Rick. Rick is a lunatic. He might be the smartest man in the universe. He might be the most Rick Rick but he's still crazy. I'm sorry. He's pessimistic. He uses his intelligence for his own personal enjoyment and or personal gain. Which, I mean, it's not always a bad thing, but on the other hand, sometimes it's a bad thing. <laughs> I really did like Rick as a character. I think it showed really great character development that he went back to his family. And yes, maybe he just needed a Morty to counteract his intelligence, but he still did go back to his family. So maybe his motives weren't all the way there, but he still went back. But I also really enjoy the fact that while it is just a series about him going on these crazy adventures, there's some real depth behind his character. Throughout the series, we learn that there's a lot of pain that he holds inside. Oh, also, I really love most of his inventions. He's incredibly intelligent and the stuff he makes is just really interesting and fun to see. Morty. Morty's not as dumb as Rick makes him out to be, especially as the show goes on. And yes, our Morty is the Mortiest of Mortys, but don't you ever doubt him. I really liked Morty as a character as well because more so than Rick, there's some really, really great character development that goes on with Morty. He kind of just starts as this dumb kid who's along for the ride. And yes, by the end, he's still kind of a dumb kid along for the ride, but he's actually making decisions for himself. He's learning, he's becoming intelligent. He's growing more and more courageous. And he too makes some really dumb decisions. Don't even get me started on what he did on season four, episode one. But again, just another character that we really get to see some personal growth out of. I'm going to talk about Beth and Jerry together. Beth and Jerry have such a weird relationship because 
we see, I think, an interdimensional Cable 1. If they didn't end up together and they both followed their dreams and became the pe person they wanted to be, they still would want the other one. They would still be in love with the other one. But on the other hand, they are not happy together. And it's this, weir this, this really weird circumstance where neither way they're going to be happy. What's the right answer for these characters? Beth in particular, obviously at the end of season four, we find out that Rick cloned her. He has no idea which one's the real Beth, which one's the clone Beth. And whichever one went off to space has just been living her best life and fighting the government. So maybe that really is the answer. Maybe the reason the other Beth that had followed her dreams but still was in love with Jerry, maybe she just wasn't following her dreams to its fullest. But I really, I really love this dy dynamic because it creates a lot of really interesting interactions and there's clearly not a right answer. It's as almost if they were destined to be together but destined to hate each other at the same time. And I'm really interested to see where they take these characters in the future. Also, I'm calling it Space Beth was real Beth. Clone Beth's the one that stayed. I don't think we're ever gonna find out the truth, but that's my guess. Okay, Summer, the last of the Smith family. She's cool. I feel like she fits that older sister trope really well. She had some really great moments in the show. I really enjoy the fact that she goes on adventures with Rick and Morty sometimes, but she's not like always on the adventures. I do think she makes a really interesting addition to the show, and I definitely feel like there'd be a big void there if she wasn't. Okay, so now I wanna talk about a couple specific moments throughout the show. First, I gotta mention it, Pickle Rick. I feel really torn about Pickle Rick because I do think it's funny, but I don't think it's as funny as the rest of the fandom thinks it is. Like, it was funny, but, like, people were out in the streets yelling, I'm Pickle Rick. They were getting Pickle Rick tattoos. I don't know. I really did think it was funny. I thought it was a really interesting concept. He gets into some crazy adventures, but at the same time, I don't know. I just didn't think it was as funny as the fandom thought it was. Maybe I'm not as devote a fan as the rest of you, which I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to say I am. Moving on. <laughs> The Wedding Squanchers. I hated this episode. I'm just kidding. It was really good. <laughs> but Birdman, <laughs> why? I was heartbroken. I knew it was coming. I'd had it spoiled from me. Thanks, Matt Pat. But it still hurt. I was so happy for Birdman. I was. And she killed him and then turned him into a cyborg bird man, which was still cool. And, you know, Rick got him back in the end and vowed to save him. It still hurt, okay? It still hurt. Last, Star Mort, Return of the Jerry. I thought this was one of my favorite episodes. We got some really great action. We got some really great jokes. We got Space Beth. She's awesome. We got to see her go toe to toe with her dad. That was a really interesting fight. Obviously, they all team up in the end. Really great episode. And it was so dark. It was so dark. Especially when we find out that he really doesn't know what happened. Who's real and who's fake. Without a doubt, it was my favorite episode of the entire series. And I really hope they keep exploring this idea of who's the real, who's the fake Beth. And I really hope they keep tackling darker subjects like this because that's what really makes to me at least that's what really makes the show great those are the three moments i really wanted to talk about there are a ton of great episodes but those three really stuck out to me final thoughts time will i be watching season five probably i probably will watch it again i'm a very pg person you guys there were so many times i was like oh no oh no <laughs> I'll probably watch it. Again, I really do like this show, but if I were to rate it, I would probably give it a, like a six, but that is purely based on my enjoyment of the show. I know a lot of people might give it an eight, nine, or 10, and I definitely would understand why. It is an amazing show, but just for me personally, it wasn't my favorite. It's all just personal preference, but that's how it is with every show, isn't it? Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the flock. And I will see you in the next one. Mother Goose out.